Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a 45 item thrift haul. I sourced everything you will see in this video from the Houston Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where here in Houston, we do pay $2.49 per pound. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to first start off with three pieces I found for myself. Just a cute little Rolling Stones band tee, a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch boyfriend jeans. I've actually worn these a couple times. I love them with the distressed knee. And lastly for me is this Zara mock neck cropped chenille green sweater. I really like this. So that's it for me. Everything from this point on I will be reselling. We have a couple pairs of shoes. First is Dolce Vita sneakers. These are so cute. They definitely have kind of the golden goose vibe to them. The comps on these were really good. I was seeing $30 to $60 on Poshmark. They're a size eight. They are a genuine leather, I believe. Yeah, synthetic slash leather outsole. I think this part is leather. So really nice little pickup there. And lastly for shoes are these Chacos, which looked brand new. I don't think these have ever been worn. So happy to find these. They're a women's size nine basic black color. One accessory, and it is a scarf from Banana Republic. I picked this up because it's 100% wool. It had no flaws to it, and I did like the blue and cream striped print with the fringe trim. It's definitely oversized. You could really kind of bundle up in this, and with it being 100% wool, it is excellent quality. Okay, getting into clothing now, starting off with 360 Cashmere, which is an excellent brand, size small. This is a cashmere star printed sweater has a relaxed fit with the drop shoulder and the wide bodice i do need to do a quick sweater shave on this but it wasn't too bad at all it's 97 percent cashmere three percent other fibers whatever that means um but there were no holes so yeah as long as there's no holes and just minor pilling i will pick up cashmere pretty much always. Guess size medium large. I rarely pick up Guess, but I thought this was really pretty. It's great for transitional weather with it being a very loose knit. I love the crochet design to it. I can just put this on my mannequin and quickly take pictures. It has side vents. This is an easy, probably I would say $25 to $30 sale. I believe it is, yeah, 100% cotton. Another cardigan, this one is by Free People. It's so soft and cozy. It's in a size large and it has this fun eyelash texture to it. Again, with that slouchy dropped shoulder, it's in an icy gray color. It's long line with hip pockets. It has an open front. This is so soft. It feels feels like you'd be wearing like a cloud. You can really bundle up in this. 100% nylon. So yeah, super cute. Next, I just grabbed this mainly because it looked brand new and because it was a size extra large. And it has this really fun embroidered American flag on it. The brand is, did I say? I don't know. It's just Gap. But this probably still retailed for like $30 or $40. So with it looking brand new, I did want to grab it. Next up, I had never heard of this brand, Bodil, but I did look up comps and they did seem promising, one size fits all. I was initially drawn to this because of the material. It's that really nice, gauzy cotton, like a muslin material. And also the color, I love this chocolate brown color. It has a high neckline drop shoulder, very boxy fit. So I will for sure be adding 
lag and look, contemporary, minimalist, 100% cotton, made in USA. Seems really high quality. I could see this selling for maybe like $35 to $40. I, I really don't think this was ever worn because it just really shows no signs of wear. That is the armpit there, which usually starts to show wear very quickly. This is so pretty. It's 100% silk from HD in Paris, which is a sub-brand to Anthropology. I want to say, is this a true? Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to show. Uh, I need to put it on my mannequin, but it is a wrap blouse, I believe, with mixed prints and then this wraparound waist tie. So feminine, delicate, pretty, and I'm almost positive. Yeah, 100% silk. This is in a size two. We have soft surroundings. You guys know I love my soft surroundings. Size 1X, which is awesome. Vibrant floral printed lightweight tunic top with embroidery and pin tuck detailing in front, floral embroidery, and then this is all pin tuck detailing with a v-neck. This did have one spot, oh yeah, but it kind of blends in with the print. It's I guess it's like an ink spot, but you really don't notice it too much with the print, so I still wanted to get it, but otherwise it's, it looks like it's in great condition, yeah. So really pretty piece there. Next up we have this brand. I've never found or sold this brand before, but I do know that it retails for hundreds. This sweater was probably $300 at least retail. Dorothy Schumacher, Schumacher, Dorothy, Sh Dorothy, let me just get another close up of this tag. I feel like I should know how to say that, Schumacher. Yeah, Dorothy Schumacher. But yeah, anyways, um, really cool knit here. It's like a diamond design within the knit. Loose knit to it, very lightweight and airy. This, I, I wanna say is 100% wool. I think all, yeah, the tags have been cut out of this, but I can feel that this is 100% wool and it had no flaws. So I was so excited to finally find this brand. It is a designer, you do want to keep an eye out for that. Next we have Tolani Collection. This is a super exciting find. So this brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. This is new with tags, the Indie Kimono in rose patchwork in a size extra large. How gorgeous is this with the tiered ruffle bell sleeves, patchwork print to it. It's long line, open front, so pretty. And then it does have a ruffle hemline. It's a little bit of a high-low hem. So yeah, this being new, size extra large with the really fun boho print, I was ecstatic to find that. These I think I grabbed for myself. Yeah, Joe's jeans. They are the Cali high rise cropped boot in a size 24, but I just didn't love the fit. I'm too tall for this like cropped boot cut fit. I keep trying to find some jeans that I like in that cut, but it just doesn't work for me. I'm like 5'7, five, 5'8 five, ish, and it's just a little bit of an awkward cut for me. So yeah, I will be listing these. They look brand new, and the Cut and style is very trendy, so these should do well. Joe's jeans do retail for quite a bit. These were probably 150, maybe 200 retail. Next up we have OSO Casuals in a size 1X slash 2X cotton blend pullover poncho fringe trim striped plows top. That was a mouthful. So again, I will put this on my mannequin just to kind of give a better idea of fit. I don't measure ponchos just because they don't really have distinct seams. And so I do add them to my mannequin to give a better idea 
of how they will fit on. I want to say this might have been sold through QVC, but I could be wrong on that. But either way, I think this is adorable. Great for transitional weather once again because it's a lighter weight knit, but it does offer some warmth to it. Okay, moving on. Anthropology by the sub brand Tiny in a size small. This was definitely one of my absolute favorite finds from the trip. How gorgeous is this? So it has a little trim at the neckline and then these gorgeous sleeves, balloon sleeves. And then look at this heavy floral embroidery in front. This is so pretty. It has a tie at the bottom hemline. I just cannot get over this. And this looks and feels brand new. I don't think this was ever worn. There is zero fading or any type of wear to the material. So I could not get over this. I mean, I can't wait to get that listed and get it off to a new home. That's one of those things that I just think about. How could that have almost gone off to a landfill that wasn't an older bin? So I mean, that just saddens me to think that like when I'm not there, some of that amazing, gorgeous stuff just goes in the trash or it goes to landfills because I mean, it's just such a waste. Okay, next up we have free people in a size small. I've sold this in the past. I believe it's called the Zoe Pullover Turtleneck Sweater. So oversized, so slouchy. It has these gauzy inserts and the body is a terry cloth material with these fun fringe drawstrings. I love this color. I want to say this is just 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. It has side slits. Did I say this was a yeah, size small? This is so oversized. So that is the back. Next we have Eileen Fisher. I've actually sold this as well in the past. It was a long time ago when I very first started reselling. It's a crinkled utility kind of jacket. Long line. It has pockets. It is supposed to be crinkled like this. Army green color. And this hood you can fold up and put back into the collar here and zip it up if you don't want the hood out. It's a size medium in Eileen Fisher. And something tells me that this is a nicer 59% organic cotton, 32% nylon, 9% metallic. So yeah, it does have a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. Okay, this was another one of my absolute favorite finds from this trip. The brand is Parfois collection. I could totally be saying that wrong. You guys can correct me for sure. I want to say this is a size medium. It only has European sizing on the tag. Look at this top. I cannot get over this. It has a colorful striped lobster print. Guys, and then the cut is so cute. It's like an oversized boxy boyfriend cut. It has a large chest pocket. It buttons down in front with really pretty mother of pearl buttons. Look at these buttons. So yeah, I cannot get over this. This is one of my favorite blouses that I have found in a while. Novelty prints always sell phenomenally for me. And this one in particular, I just know will do well. I'm probably going to list this kind of high because I'm kind of in love with it. I, I would keep this if I didn't have so much self-control. Yeah, it's a size medium, 100% cotton. Okay, next we have a vintage little denim dress. So stanza in a size small, 100% cotton. That's the vintage tag there, made in Indonesia. So I will add in 90s, Y2K. Oh, this is a romper. That makes it even cuter. I thrifted this stuff a couple weeks ago, so I'm kind of fuzzy on what all is in here. And it's a pearl snap front. Okay, this is precious. Yeah, it's like a pearlescent pearl snap front. So I will be, I will for sure be adding in Western, Rodeo, Cowgirl, 
90s Y2K and this should sell very well being a romper that is kind of a rare cut with that kind of thing I would say. More anthropology. The sub brand is Raga size small. This is a really fun cardigan. I do remember this piece. It has all of this metallic colorful like tinsel to it. If you can see drop shoulder, very slouchy cut. This is incredibly oversized with these fun large buttons, tortoiseshell buttons in front. You could easily wear just like a pair of jeans and a white top and have this as the star of your outfit. This looks brand new. See, I'll probably list this probably around $40, 10% mohair. Okay, so that does elevate it even further with having a good fabric content in there. So we love that. These, kind of like I was just mentioning, novelty prints sell so well for me that I wanted to get these. I've never heard of this brand, Rapsodia, but the tag looked nice being ta tacked on. That can be a sign of higher quality. And look at these fun cheetahs. Wide, full length leg with a pull on elastic waist full length, I said that, <laughs> drawstring waist, excellent condition. These look like an extra small to a small, if I had to guess. I mean, you could pair just a white or black blouse with that, with those. These, I am going to just take quick pictures and list as a bundle because they are the same brand, same cut and same size. Indigo Thread Company in a size extra large. They both have this washed look to them. Mixed media with the slub cotton upper and then smooth rayon bottom portion. Long sleeve, really cute. And they both look brand new. So that one was blue. And then this one is like a pink purple. So I will probably bundle these for, I would say 30 maybe 35-ish. Next up we have Zara, another piece I will have to put on my mannequin. This is the newer tag from Zara, size medium, just because of the cut. It's a halter style cut. So I will add in 70s, mod, contemporary. It ties in back, keyhole opening. And it is, it does have this extra lining at the bust area, which is really nice. You don't have to wear a bra. Side zip, mini length really cute. Back to free people. These little slip dresses sell really well. Um, I forget. It's like the trapeze slip dress. I think that's the style name. Intimately free people, size small. Anytime I find these in excellent condition, I always grab them. People like to layer with them in the fall and winter time. You can add a sweater over this with the ruffle hem peeking out at the bottom, or you could, um, you know, wear this on its own with some knee-high boots, really pretty, or you could wear this in the summer as a little summer dress. BDG from Urban Outfitters, size extra small, small. I thought this was a nice closet staple piece and also great for transitional leather because it is sleeveless, but it is a knit, so it does offer some warmth. I really like how the neckline and sleeve and bottom hem trim are a little bit of a different knit than the body. And I can add in keywords like academia, contemporary, minimalist, capsule wardrobe, boho. This is for sure oversized. This would fit like up to a medium large, I would say. It's cotton, acrylic, polyamide, and elastane. I can tell this is a little bit of a newer piece from Urban Outfitters, so that should do pretty well. This was another one of my absolute favorite finds from the trip. I had never heard of this brand, Uvita, size small. This has never been worn, I can tell. It still has the tag barb and the linen is just like crispy, so nice, brand new. How beautiful is this top? It's 100% linen. It has this gorgeous botanical floral leafy print. I love the cut to this. It's boxy, 
oversized wide sleeves. The back has this little V cut out at the bottom hem. So this is the epitome of cottagecore, lag and look, prairie, boho. And I could see this selling for 50, maybe even like $60 with it looking brand new. Yeah, 100% linen, made in Belarus, machine wash. I need to do a little bit more research on this, but I am in love with that. I think that is so pretty. I picked this Madewell top up because basic button down shirts from this brand do sell well for me. And I actually already have this one listed in a different size. So I don't have to do any work. I just go in and increase the quantity by one and say that I have another one in a size large. Neutral, earthy, striped print, button down, closet staple. Chico size zero. I like to stick to sizes two and up in Chico's. Two is equivalent to a US women's size large. I most prefer size three, which is extra large, or size four, which is extra, extra large. So size zero, I am usually deterred by. However, this was such a substantial piece that I did want to get it. It's a velvet textured leopard printed elastic waist uh, midi skirt. It's fully lined. This is so pretty. So this will sell probably around $35. It is in excellent condition. I was trying to see, I thought it had like a tiered design to it, but it does not. It does have some kind of interesting seam detailing, but I'm not really able to make it out right now. Okay, this is another specific piece that I have sold in the past as well, CP Shades. I wanna say this is the Dre jacket. Let me get one more. This brand is kind of hard to recognize out in the wild because the font is usually the same shade as the tag, but this is a brand you wanna look out for and this specific cut or piece from this brand is something that you for sure wanna look out for. I've sold this jacket, this will probably be my third or fourth time now, and it always sells for like 50 to $75. It's 100% linen, really amazing quality. It probably retails for two to 300. CP Shades is very expensive. It's fully lined. Let me make sure it's 100%. Made in USA has the extra button in here. Yeah, 100% linen and the lining is cotton. So again, you do want to add in cottage core, minimalist, contemporary, boho, everything into that. More linen, Cynthia Rally size large. This is 100%. What a nice piece here. It has a double V neckline with a tie at the waist and then these really pretty kind of frilly sleeves. It's solid white, or maybe it's a cream. Yeah, it is kind of a cream. It had no flaws. It's 100% linen. So yeah, this will probably go, I would say $30, $35. Okay, how pretty is this? I have sold this brand in the past, Ivy Jane. I think it does have a following size large. I think this is so cute. It has these 3D rosettes all over. I mean, is this not adorable? It's so unique. I haven't really seen anything like this ever. And I go, you know, you guys know I'm looking at thousands of items of clothing every day, lots of days. So yeah, I could not get over this. I think this will probably go, I would say 30 to 35 with how cool and unique it is. Again, I will add in a lot of keywords for that. Another Bolo brand for you guys, Nation LTD. This stuff retails for so much. You do wanna to stick to the newer items in the brand. Made in USA, size extra small. Velvet, V-neck, boxy blouse top. It has like the t-shirt or the sweatshirt wrists and neckline. I want to say this was a silk blend. Yeah. 82% rayon, 18% silk. So that silk does elevate it. And I thought this purple color was really pretty. More free people, a tried and true 
waffle knit Henley here with the fun wrist cuffs. It's in this burnt orange color, flattering rounded hemline in a size medium. Oh, I thought this was cute. Topshop size small. Very like contemporary, uh, kind of like, I don't know, I could just see someone with really good fashion sense making this look so cute. It's a gingham printed mini skirt and the waist tie is meant to look like shirt sleeves. It's ruched on the side. Very cute. It's fully lined. Oh, is this a romper? Okay, this is a romper. It has shorts underneath, so that makes it even better, actually. Makes it a little bit more practical. Next, Curio. I've sold this brand a couple times in the past. They make really fun, boho, like chunky knit pieces, and this one is no exception. This is a wool blend, which makes it a little bit nicer quality. How cute is this? It's a diamond print. Is that a pocket? Yeah, it has a kangaroo pocket in front, these wide sleeves, a cowl neckline. So fun. I love this. I love just really interesting kind of chunky knit pieces, size medium. This I will put on my mannequin. It is a vintage piece. I was thinking about attempting pronouncing this, but I don't think that I will. 100% silk, size medium. I did, one big reason that I got it was because it is 100% silk, so that does make it higher quality, and also because I can add in keywords like witchy, boho. Look at how pretty the details are on this sleeve. It's a true wrap blouse, but I think it does have a little, yeah, it has a little snap there to keep it closed, and then you just wrap up. This looks so flattering and it has the ruffle hemline. I just think this is precious and yeah I think that will sell well with it being 100% silk. This I just threw in my cart as a closet filler. It's newer tag Athleta in a size small. It looked and felt brand new and these newer tag even basics from Athleta do sell really well for me. I think this might have also been it's the Breezy Scoop V-neck tee shirt, and it is from spring of 2022. This feels like, yeah, modal, modal blend. So, yeah, that's, I mean, probably 20, maybe 25-ish max on that. Another nice material piece, we have a Pottery Barn robe, 100% linen, Pottery Barn, gray, steel gray robe with the tie still attached. So just a really high quality robe here. I'm not sure what this retailed for from Pottery Barn, but Pottery Barn is very expensive. So I had to get this. It does have pockets. The tie was still there and it is 100% linen. So I could see this selling for at least $50, machine wash cold. It's a size extra small slash small. I might have to try that on because I have an Ugg robe that I love, but I live in Houston. And so, you know, after I've taken a hot shower, it is kind of tough to put on an Ugg robe living here in Houston just because it's so hot all the time everywhere. So the idea of a linen robe actually sounds fantastic to me. Okay, last few pieces here. We have Beach Lunch Lounge. I don't always get this brand. The piece does have to be substantial, and this does qualify. So it's a size extra, extra large. It's in that, once again, gauzy, uh, textured cotton, like muslin material that people really like. It's a button-down romper in a nice navy color. And it is in good shape. So I think this will sell really well. The tie is still there. And I do really like this blue contrast color with the buttons. I think that's really pretty. It has pockets. And last two items. This was just a bread and butter grab from Easel Los Angeles. It's a lower, lower end boutique kind of brand. But it does sell well for me because it usually is very trendy size medium. So tiered 
boho printed mini dress. Really fun print here. Usually, you know, if it has the style going for it and it's in excellent condition, I will pick it up. And that I will list maybe like 28 to 30 ish. And then lastly for this haul is Free People size medium cropped loose knit fringe trim sweater. I think this is adorable. You could do so much with this. You could layer it in the fall and winter time, or you could wear it over a bikini top in the summertime for like a chilly beach night kind of thing. So yeah, I love this. It was flawless. I think it's just 100% cotton, I wanna say. Yeah, 100% cotton. So that is absolutely everything for this huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.